Hello, welcome to this uh, lecture video. So I am teacher Melai. And today we will still be talking about how to use PSP, PSPP in analyzing data. So this is uh, the outline. So we have the survey questionnaire encoding the data in Microsoft Excel or directly in PSPP, sanitizing the data, transferring data, analyzing the data, and interpreting the tables. So in the previous videos, we were able to discuss the questionnaire and coding, sanitizing. In the, this video, our focus is to transfer the data from Microsoft Excel to PSPP. So there is a separate video in encoding the data in Microsoft Excel or directly in PSPP. However, in case that you opted to encode the data using Microsoft Excel first before and not directly in PSPP, then it is necessary for you to watch the video on how to transfer data from Microsoft Excel to PSPP. Okay, so let us do that. So this is the data set encoded in the Microsoft Excel. So we have here, of course, the variable. If you could still recall our profile, age, sex, relationship status, socioeconomic status, and also the items one to items five of our questionnaire that measures the life satisfaction. If you were able also to watch the video using SPSS, there is, the, of course, the, a separate video in the transferring or opening your data save in Microsoft Excel, and it can be opened in the SPSS. So what do we need to do? Of course, you have to open our software, PSPP, and, of course, our data set. So in the data view, if you could still recall the procedure in Microsoft Excel to SPSS, if you watch that video, so we can just simply click File, Open, and then locate the data set. However, here, the, uh, it is limited into data and syntax files. So the system files is limited into .sav or .zsav. So which means that there is no way for us to open Microsoft Excel. So in SPSS, we can change the type into all types or we can change it to Excel or to any other document file. So it is okay to open that using file open. But in PSPP, we cannot do that. So let us, of course... Uh, um, cancel this because that option is not favorable for PSPP. So what we are going to do is to open our data set. So this is the sanitized data already. And make sure that you also have with you in, uh, the installed PSPP. So what you will do is to copy so let's open our Microsoft Excel, is to copy the data. Do not include the variable. So just copy the data set from respondent one to the last respondent, from first variable to the last variable. So we will copy that until to the last one. Uh, you can do control C or if not, right click, copy, and then proceed to the PSPP. So you can use Control V, or if you want to use right click and then paste, if you notice, so it is not successfully copied. So what we need to do is to do Control. So let's go back. So to copy, and then to use the control V as the um, command for you to paste it here. Okay, so we are um, done with 
copying our data set. However, if you notice, of course, um, the default variable name is placed here. So which means we have to go to the variable view and place the variables. So if you have your list with you, then you can just uh, simply encode it. So we have the var first variable is age, second variable is sex, third variable is relationship status, third, uh, fourth SES, socioeconomic status, item one, item two, do not place spaces in between as mentioned, item three, item four, item five. And then what is uh, the label? So again, you have to go back to the coding scheme that you use. So in the, the value label, so let's do that. So I just double click it. Value one, the value one is from 13 to 16 years old. And value two is 17 to 20 years old. Then click, okay. So we have here the okay. And then next, of course, the sex. So we also need to encode that one male, two female. Click add and okay. So relationship status one in our relationship. So you have to look at your coding scheme. Zero is not in a relation okay. then click okay so for a socioeconomic status we have the option with um, a lot of money enough money sufficient money but can hardly save so if you still recall that option you have to also place it under socioeconomic status Okay, let us uh, try to see the questionnaire that we use. Okay, anyway. So that is how you will do it. So in, of course, as mentioned, so let's go back here. So it is your option now. So you have to go back to your questionnaire to encode for the values. It is your option now if you also want to encode the, the values for items one to items five. But it is also okay not to encode the values anymore. Anyway, the numbers that is given for, is actually... A scale it's a rating it is it represents numbers and what matters is of course the value given so this is how to transfer data from microsoft excel to pspp and the last step of course is do not forget to save your file even in encoding your data in microsoft excel encoding your data in PSTP and transferring your data from Microsoft Excel to PSTP. Never forget to save your data. So we are going to save our data. File, save as. And let us name it as Life Satisfaction. Data. And then click save okay so this is all for this video we will continue again in the next video thank you for watching